What's going on peeps? Back again with another vid. Play ratings time. You've seen the review. If not, go and check it. Make sure you don't like, comment, share, subscribe. All that. It's free. Hit the bell. Make sure it's grey when you hit. I don't want to see no red. Make sure it's grey. But if you don't know, Wolfsburger 1. Spurs for comprehensive win for the most part. There was a couple of shaky moments, especially when they pulled one back, but other than that, can't complain. We got the job done. People say we got the easy draw. Probably did, but we didn't choose them and you can only beat who's in front of you. So that's what we did. Got it done. I don't think there's a chance for Wolfsburg on the second leg. If I'm honest, it would take a great, great bottle drop performance to to mess this up, and I just don't see it. Especially at home, I don't see them coming to our stadium and controlling the game at all. If I'm honest, providing we pay the right players, bring some of the youth in, I guess as well. Later one in the game which we didn't do yesterday but you know I don't think Marino trusted some of them on the pitch and maybe some just run out of legs but when we get to the ratings we find out who came off because of their performance because I don't think this was a, a substitution for tiredness I think it was a substitution because the performance was so bad that he couldn't take watching it anymore. He's seen enough. There was time to hook him. But anyway, let's get to the, the ratings. And as always, we start between the sticks. And that's Hugo Lloris, who's had a rough few games, if we're being honest. He's been poor. And he still needs to be sold. But today, he did redeem himself. He made a good save from a header hit onto the bar and to be honest that's all he had to do today everything else was pretty much straightforward but he dealt with it can't give him anything too high he did concede the pen but other than that it was really just he could have pulled up a little beach chair had a cocktail had something to eat didn't really have much to do so for me, the Reese, I'll give him a six. Ben Davis, again, that side was a bit of a threat, if I'm honest. Most of the threat came from the right hand side. Well, their right hand side, our left, which was Ben Davis' side getting attacked. And at times he done well, other times not so well. But going forward, he was all right. He got forward, he overlapped, which he didn't do in the last game against Man City, but he definitely did that today. He had, he did give the option. It wasn't always used, but he was there. He did win a couple of tackles on the touchline. He didn't do bad, to be fair to him. Other than got spun a couple of times, but he didn't do too, too bad. I'll give him give him a five that was down the middle performance Eric Dyer a lot better today to be honest but I think it's because the opposition wasn't good to be real better opposition he would have had a long day but yesterday they weren't really top quality opposition let's be real some of them are probably I don't know what they do in their spare time but he, he was there, he done a job. Got us over the line. I'm going to give him a seven. He was he was okay, solid. Won his headers. His area jewels, he won him. Just cleared it, hoofed it away. No trying to pass out when he didn't need to. So yeah, I'm going to give him a seven. He, he, done, he done well yesterday. And next, Matt Doherty. He did get an assist. So, 
I guess he didn't. This is probably his best game. Got an assist for Gareth Bell. But to be fair to him, he didn't. He did play well today. He did get a couple of tackles in. I think his tackle was the one that led to the fourth goal. So he he did he did do well today. Still bad at times, but probably one of his best performances in the Spurs shirt that I can remember. And I'm gonna give Doherty a seven. And I don't think I've given him a seven before. And if I have it must have been a long time ago. But for yesterday's performance, Doherty gets a seven for me. Done well, got his assist, good pass. And defensively done a right one headers. Put his foot in. Made some tackles. So yeah, I'm gonna give Doherty a seven for yesterday. All the viraled in the back, you know what you're getting with him. He defended when he had to. When he was called upon, he was there. The blocks, aerial jewels, clearances. Doing what Toby does. But I do believe, I think he might be getting to the end. I think he's, his legs are a little bit done. I think he's finished. I think this might be his last season where he looks good. Next season might be a long one for him. So we're definitely going to need to replace him. But I love Toby, man. And I'm giving him a seven. The whole bet line done all right. Minus the defense side was a little weak. But other than that, they've done pretty well. Especially the centre-backs were brilliant today. I'm going to give him a seven. Next, Delhi. Took some time. But once he got going, he was a candidate for man of the match. But I think he just misses it because he didn't get a goal or assist. But his link-up play was brilliant. Got some nice skills, worked hard, putting tackles, tracking back, pressing, doing all the stuff that he was not doing before. Put, so... He did have a good game, brilliant game. And I think that's Marino has been wanting from him. And he didn't play the whole game because I think he hasn't played in a long time. So I don't think he was going to do 90 minutes. I never thought he would do 90 minutes. And he did get quite far. So he can't complain. But the time he was on, I think this was the day we got when Marino first came. You see the signs are there. And he had a brilliant game. Again, link up play nice. Putting tackles in, pressing, working hard. And he's the one that's going forward and not so much sideways and back. Now, if you go forward and you give the ball away, but you're trying to pass, which is direct and forward, and going to our attackers, I don't have an issue. I will have an issue if you're passing back and sideways and you give the ball away. That's when I don't like it. But if you're taking a risky pass to try and get a goal and make something happen, then... I'm with that because Neymar does it he gives the ball away a lot because he does things like that so for me I don't mind but for me Ali Delhi today not today yesterday brilliant and he's going to get an 8 Harry Winks he got an assist which I don't think is an assist this assist thing is ridiculous because he passed the ball to Lucas, who ran a good distance, went past three players and scored. But he gets an assist for that. But other than that, he was anonymous as always. Didn't really do anything. Had one little shot that was wide the keeper. A little soft shot. little P-roller. Not, nothing crazy. But... <sighs> I think he's finished as well, to be honest. He's not good enough. I don't know if he's defensive or a number eight, or I don't know what he is, but I guess he got an assist. So I'm going to have to give him a five. Gareth Bell, man of the match for me. Got a goal and an assist. Now hopefully he can kick on and keep it going. He has to now. Because time's running out, so he needs to keep the momentum going. 
he had a good game, he got his goal, good finish. Set up Son for his goal, not the best cross, but Son made it work. And he had some nice touches, some nice skills in there. Working hard off the ball, putting in tackles, which I don't see Gareth Bale doing. Putting in side tackles. So Marino's obviously got through to him. Or maybe because Marino was on that side in the first half, which is why he was throwing himself around. But for me, man of the match. And he too is going to get an 8. Next, Lucas. Got the goal. Worked hard, as you know he's going to do. Checking back. Linking up play. Being direct. Going past players. Passing and moving. Not just standing around. Admiring his pass. He passes and he moves. Because he wants to get in the box. Wants to score goals. And he did get his goal. And it's a brilliant goal. And the fact that Wink's got an assist for it. <clears throat> kind of like. I think takes away from. His goal because the goal was brilliant. Went past 3-4 players. And then rolls it. To the keeper's right. Brilliant finish. And he played 65 minutes. But in that 65 minutes. He'd done pretty much everything. So for me. He's going to get a 7. It's a so called worst player on the pitch. By a country man. I don't think. Any player on either team was worse than him. Gave away a penalty. The ball bounced off him. Like when you throw a ball on a trampoline. Or anything. It just goes wing. Not good enough. Or if you throw a ball on a balloon. It just goes flying. That's what he was doing. That was his first touch. He was poor. And he's had some poor games in the Spurs shirt, but yesterday, Jesus Christ, that was definitely not good enough. And he's got to go in the summer. I'm sorry, I don't want to see him next season. I don't know who's going to take him based on his performances he's been given, but he needs to be shipped out, FedEx, AML, whatever it is, DPD, Yodel any courier service and get him the head out of it next day because he's done I see him coming off and the Reese was saying something to him he didn't look happy maybe the Reese was telling him you're crap and I can't I'm not passing the ball to you no more because you're trash that's what I'm interpreting I don't know if he said that but that's what I'm saying and for me it's a so cool. he's getting a two he was diabolical And I'm only giving him a two because he had a yellow card early-ish in the second half and he didn't get sent off. Next up, Son. Only played 45 minutes, but he got his goal. But other than that, he had one shot early on that was just wide. But I think about Kane there, Son is a different player. I don't think the other players around knows how he functions and it makes him have a bad game because he don't know his pattern and his style of play it seems like it's like they're strangers and him and Kane have that that connection that they just know each other are but he only paid one half got a goal give him a five subs Vinicius came on for Son got his goal but before that didn't really do anything didn't see the ball to be honest I think the Miller and Bergman touched the ball more than him in the first five minutes they were on and he was on at half time so pretty much sums it but in the box he worked to his strengths put the ball in the box he comes to life and that's how he got his goal but I'm gonna give him a five because he got a goal so that's going to boost him up in his awareness and reactions to pull it away. I'll give him a five. If he didn't score today, probably would have been a three. Next, Bergwijn. Again, came on. Didn't do anything. Really extravagant. Nothing to really light, light me on fire and be like, ooh. 
Oh, we got a player here. It was just an uh, eh type performance. Not good enough. But we can't get rid because he came last year, January. But I guess he might need a bit more time because some people just take a bit longer to adapt. But he's running out of time. So he's got the first half of next season to fix up or January he's got to leave or the summer. But again, Bergvine, free, didn't do anything. Heuberg, he came on with like, what, 12 minutes to go. That's how bad Sissoka was. That we had to bring on Heuberg. He couldn't close the game out. But Heuberg came in. I think he set up the goal. He crossed it to Lamella. He headed it onto Vinicius's foot. So probably done more in that little time than Sissoko done the whole game I'm going to give Heiberg a 6 and Dombley came on showed some nice touches nice skills but you really know what you're getting with him nice passes but he wasn't on that long about 12 minutes past stoppage time had a wild shot but he done he done good more than Sissoko I'm going to give him a 5 and Lamella with the inverted assist. Um he touched the ball, he has some nice touches, nice skills, nice passes, nice flicks. Could have had a couple of goals to be honest. But it might have took us a little bit too long to take them. And they put in some good blocks. But he's been playing well the last few games he's been on. So I'ma give Lamella a I'm going to give him a 7, he actually played well, worked hard, put in tackles. You know what he's going to do, he's a fighter, he's just going to go in and fan tackles. And show some passion, this is what I want to see. And he did that again yesterday, so I will give him a 7, absolutely. And that was all our subs, that was our starting 11. This will be dropping tomorrow, but... Not tomorrow. It'll be dropping today. So look out for that. It's a bit early for me. Because of the time. But it will be dropping later on today. So look out for that. Make sure you look like, comment, share, subscribe. And as we know, it's COVID. Some of us are not down. Some of us ain't. Some have tight restrictions, some don't. But either way, everyone stay safe. Until the next vid, which will drop on Saturday for the preview of our West Ham game. I'm out of here. Peace.